Hello and welcome to the center of it all. This time of year is apple season and Wayfruit Farm puts on an annual event showing the public how they make fresh cider. For six generations, the Way family has lived and worked their fruit farm and started pressing cider in the 1940s. Our family started in uh, 1875 growing apples and somewhere about the 1940s, our family, my grandfather started making cider and selling it just in the fall. My father continued that uh, and then I came home in 1981 and then we started making cider year round. Wayfruit Farm grows more apples than they know what to do with. We got about 50 acres of apple trees and we pick about 35,000 bushels of apples a year. And now most of them go out as number ones or Ben Seal apples and then our calls go out as cider. Uh, we sell, we have more apples than we actually can sell here at the farm. So we also sell apples to Lucky Leaf apple juice and to Musselman's apple juice. At their shop in Port Matilda, you can pick from a variety of apples. We grow 30 different varieties. We start our season off with Lodi and we'll finish our season up with Granny Smith. Wayfruit Farm presses fresh cider all year as long as they have apples. Uh, we make it fresh every week because we don't pasteurize it. And by doing that, we have to have enough apples. Like this year, we had a apple cider for 10 months, and then we run out in July and the month of August. But other years when we have lots of apples, we make it all 12 months. Pennsylvania is one of just a few states in the country where you're allowed to make and sell unpasteurized cider. Wayfruit Farm takes full advantage of this. Each state has their own regulations about cider. To make fresh, non-pasteurized cider in Pennsylvania, you have to use your own apples. You cannot uh, use apples off the ground. We chlorinate and wash all of our apples before they come to the cider room. And we do not press any apples for anybody else. And we cannot sell our cider to anybody else than our own retail market. We do a Bullsburg Farmer's Market, we do a Downtown State College Farmer's Market, and we sell here at the farm. But if we wanted to sell to another uh, farm market or a grocery store, it would have to be pasteurized and we do not feel like we should do that. We don't want to do that. So what is the process from apple to cider? Well, first of all, all of our apples come into this room, chlorinated, washed first, and then uh, we put them across the, a grater or a uh, elevator and we grind them up into uh, apple pummy and then we pump the pummies in to the claws and they're very soupy, lots of water, 50, 60% water or, or juice. And then we put about 2,000 pounds pressure on them, squeeze them till they're just almost dry like sawdust, and then we extract all the juice out of it we can, and then we just keep continuing that process over and over again. Till we try to make four to 500 gallons at a clip. Wayfruit Farm sells their produce and cider at the Bullsburg and State College Farmers Markets, and at their shop in Port Matilda, where they also have a bakery and cafe. The farm also holds its fall festival the second and third Saturday of October. Visit wayfruitfarm.com for a full list of their fall time events. When we come back on the center of it all, Mel is incorporating her own apples into a tailgate feast. <laughs> 